Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This loading screen for the next promo on FIFA 23 might just be what we need to bring some of the hype back to the FIFA 23 menus because this next World Cup promo is bringing back a very popular concept that we usually see later in the year. It's moving it up a little bit earlier and putting a World Cup twist to it. I want to look through the World Cup Phenoms promo. That's the car design that's on the loading screen. We have to talk about what this promo means and some of the leaks that we have already for this promo look absolutely nuts. So we're going to talk through that. And of course, today's a big day because Path to Glory upgrades are supposed to be going live. As I'm recording this video right now, they are not live because PTG Griezmann and a lot of these cards should be going up another plus one, but they've not been upgraded yet. We only have two cards upgraded right now. That might change. Hopefully it does soon. But I want to take a look at that and talk about the market because will prices maybe begin to drop a little bit with the hype of this brand new promo and with all the insane leaks that we have out there. So we're going to try to discuss that today and talk about what to expect with more showdown SBCs upcoming maybe as soon as today so if you're excited for this new promo hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's break it down and talk about it and why i'm hyped and why a lot of people are starting to get hyped about this promo this is the loading screen once again that car design is the foot phenoms promo now we knew this was coming right we've known this for the past couple of weeks this is the next upcoming promo starting on Friday, Foot Phenoms, right? We know the name of the card design. That's how we know the name of the promo. Now, some of the leaks that we have talking about this promo also confirm that World Cup Phenoms coming this Friday, U24 players. So these are going to be some of the young guns, which again, we would assume are performing very well in the World Cup. So if you think about some guys that perform well in the World Cup that are pretty young guys so far, again, you think about some pretty hype players and again what this really starts to make me think about is future stars it feels like a future stars type promo just earlier in the year and based around the world cup now we have to take a look at these leaks because you're going to understand what we're talking about and get excited just like we are here in a second if you haven't seen these this was the first leak yesterday jude bellingham wow jude bellingham insane league right he's had a great world cup so far of course under 24 years old this is the type of promo that gets people excited. Big card boost. Again, these are predicted stats, by the way, not confirmed stats. But a Jude Bellingham of this stat nature would be probably a million coins on this market because of the English links. Of course, these cards, as we know right now, are not live. We would assume they are not live items. Only the Path to Glories are the live items right now in this game. But this would just be a hype promo because we would be getting promo cards for players that we normally don't often see. And again, that future stars aspect of getting promo cards for guys that we don't often get because they're maybe younger or whatever, up and coming, that's really hype. And that just brings out new players in the game that people maybe haven't used too many times throughout the year or cards that haven't got many upgrades yet like Millie Tao, who I checked this because I wondered how old is Millie Tao? And he's 24, but he turns 25 in January. So he's just sneaking in here into this under 24 uh, criteria for the World Cup Phenoms. But a Millie Tao card, and a Jude Bellingham have been leaked so far. Now, I expect to see a lot more leaks in the coming days, but those are two massive leaks to start things off. We have a third leak as well, Rafael Leal. This was well-timed after Rafael Leal was grittying after scoring a goal yesterday um, in the Portugal's game. But here's another card that is leaked, right? And you see the caliber of these leaks right away. Rafael Leal, you see Militao, and you see Jude Bellingham, and you're like, wow. EA are doing the business with this promo. They are dropping some pretty tasty cards, some pretty big names. And I mean, there's a lot of other names that are still out there that could be a part of this promo, right? Just again, let your mind wander for a bit. You got guys like Musiala, right? Musiala has been performing well or was performing well before they got knocked out. He was making some pretty incredible dribbles and contributing to the attacking nature of the German squad. Um, that's a name that a lot of people are throwing out there. Gavi is a name people are throwing out there. Gakpo, right? The only thing I would say with a lot of these guys and the only thing I would say to think about is the next promo after this and I know you're like Nate why are we getting ahead of ourselves here but hear me out the next promo after this is called team of the tournament so a lot of people would expect Gakpo as a young player to be featured in this promo I could see Gakpo in this promo or I could see him in the next promo because he had so many goals and he's been forming so many so well during the world cup uh, I could see him in either or, but that's the gist, if you will, of this promo. U24 players, 
that have been probably performing well in the World Cup, EA might do it kind of the same way they did with the World Cup stories cards and say, well, if it's a player that's played well in the build-up to the World Cup as well, young phenoms, however they have performed, whether it's leading up to the World Cup or in the World Cup so far, that might be where this promo is headed. And that's why there's hype. Because again, you think about some of these guys that we haven't had many special cards for this year. Like I'll go back to the Musiala example. I think we have an inform Musiala, 90 dribbling on this card. I mean, imagine like a plus three or a plus four on this card. He's going to be absolutely insane. People would love to try him out, that sort of thing. And it's just guys that you don't often get to use all the time on FIFA. So very, very exciting for the aspect of this promo and just how it sounds like it's gonna be. And with the leaks that we have already, like we said, it looks like EA want to ramp it up a notch. Now, again, that's our initial kind of reaction and response to what we've seen. Hopefully the good leaks and the good information about this promo continues. So we're gonna have to keep a watch today on Wednesday into tomorrow, look at the leaks and look at the loading screen and stuff like that to see what we learn about Phenoms. But it's looking pretty good right now. Now, speaking of the loading screen, you know what we have, right? Just the regular car design. EA's been in this kind of cycle of having loading screens start at earlier than ever before from what we normally see. Tuesday loading screens, and then they updated on a Wednesday. Now, last week what they did was they showed icon card, an icon card, and they showed the Phenoms card on the loading screen on Wednesday. Now, I mean, we expect to get more World Cup icons in packs as a team of three because there's cards that we've been talking about, right? Like Garincha, Mateus, and some of these other World Cup icons that are searchable in the game that are obviously not in the game yet. So there might be an updated loading screen today, and it might not tell us too much other than we're going to get more World Cup icons in packs, which wouldn't really be that big of a surprise. But watch out for the loading screen today. That's a big part of Wednesday content that we're gonna have to keep an eye on because that would tell us about what's partially upcoming for this weekend as well. So keep an eye out for that. But again, uh, car design has not been added yet to the game. I think that would probably happen more so on Thursday. So you'll see it here in the game here and that'll confirm the name of the promo as well. But a lot of hype is building for this World Cup Phenoms promo. So watch the loading screen today and of course watch the leaks on Twitter. But let's talk about what's going on right now inside of this game today. Today is the 7th, and according to EA's website, we are supposed to get Path to Glory upgrades. Now, as I'm looking at Bruno Guimaraes, I mean, I've been waiting a little bit later to record this video just to see if they would upgrade these cards, and they have not yet. Bruno Guimaraes is still 88 rated, Griezmann is still 88 rated, Bernardo Silva is still 91. The only cards that have been updated at this time and upgraded are the Ziet and the Bergwijn showdown cards which both got plus two i believe right now there's no more even though like morocco and spain were tied at the 90 minute mark heading to extra time and in previous years a draw uh meant at 90 minutes that the both showdown cards would get a plus one it looks like ea are going with whoever advances and whoever like technically wins the game gets the upgrade so ziech with a plus two on his card and a bergwijn with a plus two as well finally getting upgrades there but again as you see the rest of these cards like our ones to watch dest and rudiger and darwin nunez are still not upgraded as i'm recording this video so hopefully ea do the business today and end up going out and upgrading these cards because we need some of these upgrades now speaking of upgrades we got price range updates for a lot of these cards as well that were extinct. Griezmann was, of course, extinct at 950. Now he has been upped in his price range. He's now 900 and like 10, 920,000 coins. And a lot of these cards have gone up even further after their price updates happened, right? And Kunku was extinct at 2 mil, and now he's about 2.4, 2.5. So these cards continue to rise up just a little bit. Keep an eye on their prices after the upgrades drop today. Again, the people and cards that are getting upgraded are the cards that won their round of 16 matchup. So Vinny Jr. is going to get another upgrade. He's going to be a 90 rated card when it's all said and done. Whenever EA decided to do these upgrades, he's going to get upgraded there. So watch out for the boosts on these cards. There's not as many that are getting upgraded, of course, but there's still a lot of hype for the ones that are getting upgraded. So hopefully EA do that soon. And again, EA Sports, please this time around, upgrade the ones to watches as well. And again, this brings up a whole other conversation because uh, this was supposed to be upgraded with the last set of upgrades that they did, but it unfortunately was not. Uh, same thing with the Tyler Adams, same thing with the Rudiger, same thing with the Schlotterbeck, right? We all want these upgrades for these cards, 
And it's very, even though EA literally on their website have told us the day that we're going to get these upgraded, they said today on the 7th, and what they did the last two times they upgraded cards was they did it at like midnight uh, UK time from the 6th into the 7th or like from the Monday into the Tuesday type thing, uh, you know, like they did it earlier in the week. They're, again, very inconsistent with the upgrade time. So that's just unfortunate, and it just kind of sucks to have that, especially since they were on time and they did all the upgrades right away with the first upgrade, and now they've been kind of lagging behind and being very slow with it. So that is very, very, very unfortunate uh, there. Now, let's talk about the market. With this promo upcoming and with the hype starting to build, I honestly think this promo brings a lot of hype, guys, because you guys know Future Stars every year, if the promo team is good, Future, like this promo World Cup Phenoms is going to have a lot of hype. Now, a lot of prices are still maintaining their um, kind of their ranges right now. I was watching some of the World Cup stories cards. Some of these guys are down a bit, right? Asensio, who I tried to trade with yesterday, is down a little bit. Danny Alves is down like 10,000 coins. A lot of stuff is still kind of stagnant. Giroud is down a lot right now. 70k for Giroud after he was started the, the start of the day yesterday at 100k. He is now 70,000 coins. And as I take a look at this Giroud card specifically on the market, yes, I think just this, this card is down a lot and it potentially could be flipped uh, if it does have a bit of a rebound back this morning. But I, I think I, what I see from a lot of this is a lot of a lot of people that are selling an investment or are selling a card that they were trying to trade with. Uh, when you look at the prices here and look at the cards here, you can see a lot of them have zero games played to multiple owners, right? That tells me that that's a trader or an investor that's selling that card and trying to get it out. Now, I had bought a couple Zakarias yesterday and I still have a Carval Hall, but I sold my Zakarias because uh, I just saw so many people investing in this card. I almost feel like it's going to be a Goretzka situation from last week where Goretzka went low, he rebounded back up, and then he drops a little bit again. Uh, it just depends, right? If we have an insane midfielder from the Premier League that is in the World Cup that maybe, and I don't know who EA would put into this promo, that would be that would challenge Zakaria as one of the best CDMs in the Prem. Uh, like, if there's a leak for one of those, I think a, like a card like Zakaria could be impacted. Um, and I just think with the, the, the hype promo of Phenom's upcoming, I think there could be a little bit of sell-off on the market, but I'm not super-duper worried about major market crashes like today or tomorrow or anything like that. I just sold a Zakaria at basically break even tax, I lost a couple thousand coins. I bought him at like 237 and 240. Um, I just sold him because I wanted to get some of my coins back to go and try some other things. I sold the Rashford as well. As you can see, my coins are back up. I still have a couple of cards I was trying to, to trade with. Um, and I sold the uh, Nunez that I had as well. But some of the ways the market is moving today just makes me feel like we could be in for a weekend with some really new cards hitting the market that are really, really hyped. And maybe throughout the rest of the weekend, some of these World Cup stories cards, maybe some of the road to the World Cup cards could end up falling in price because they're just brand new, fresh, special cards that everybody wants to try out on the game. That's the only thing that I think of for the market this weekend that I'd be a little bit afraid of. But we need to see more leaks before we really get this idea that World Cup Phenoms is going to be super insane. Uh, I don't want to hype it up too much yet. I mean, the concept sounds amazing, but EA's got to come through. So if EA do come through, I think some of these cards could drop a bit. Um, now, Carvajal Hall is an interesting one because, of course, Spain got beat by Morocco. They are out. No more upgrades for this card. Huge price drop off yesterday. But a lot of people are investing in this because he is still the best right back in La Liga and with the Real Madrid links and of course with the Militao that is leaked it's like okay this Carvajal Hall card is probably a decent buy I still stand by this fact that unless we get a new um like right back honestly from La Liga and it would have to be from a Real Madrid or a Barcelona to be hyped enough for me to overtake this Carvajal Hall uh, I think this card will end up rising back up I, I think 150,000 coins is about right for this card but you're still kind of stuck right now in that post um, no more live aspect to the card panic sell, right? Everybody after a card is no longer live, just goes out and, and panics the card and gets it out. So Carvajal Hall right now is like 130 K. I think that he will end up going up about 15 to 20,000 coins in the next week or two. So if you picked one of those up in the low one twenties, if there's any more panic selling on that card today or on Zakaria, I think those will be really, really good cards to trade with. I just kind of wanted to get my coins out of Zakaria. I know we talked a lot about that on stream. I just want to get my coins out because 
I wanted to move into different places and kind of be able to do some quick flips with like icons or other really rare cards. Um, and I, I thought that I was going to make more from that than I would if I held on to the Zacharias for a couple of days and especially not knowing what's coming out this weekend. So I just don't like to be invested when I feel like there's a lot of hype or at least fully invested. When I had those Zacharias before I sold the Rashford, I literally had you know, 95K or something like that. So that's why I took it a little bit safe there. I know we talked a lot about those cards on stream. I do think they are still good investments. Um, I also think there's a lot of people invested um, that share the same sentiment that we do. So if there is any sort of panic, it's going to be pretty heavy on a few of these cards if people end up selling. So just kind of keep an eye out on the market for those. But some other interesting areas are uh, some of these cards that got updated in price are now down bad, right? You, you can very easily look at the Nabry card. I'm losing some coins on Nabry as well. Um, you know, I do think that Nabry will rise up from the low that he is 22K for this card with the Bayern links. Um, that's that's really low. I'm still, I still believe that this card is very, very low. It's the only Nabry that we have as a special card in this game. That usable of a card. Right wings in the Bundesliga are kind of tough to come by. So this is now at the price of fodder as people continue to panic sell this card and sell it off. I mean, you look, Zero matches played. This is somebody that's losing a lot of coins on this Navri card. Same thing happened with Lukaku. Uh, same thing happened with many other PTG cards and Road to the World Cup cards as well. Like uh, Suarez Road to the World Cup was stuck at 80,000 coins. And now his card, I believe, is like 40 or 45,000 coins. With everybody that is trying to finally get these cards out of their club that they were not able to sell for weeks beforehand now, I especially think some of the lower tier cards, like maybe a Delaney, Tecatito, Mertens, Hincape, these guys that are basically discard might be worth a club stock, especially if they're, you know, somewhere down the line. Uh, another card comes out that gets people excited, like Tecatito, five star, five star with the Sevilla links. That's a card I would I would try to buy for like 11, 12K if you can, put one in the club. Mertens is an 86 rated card. That's a card, even though the stats the stats on Mertens look pretty solid, even though it doesn't have good links, I would still buy one of these at like, if you have over 100,000 coins, try to get one at like 14, 13K, which is basically the same price as 86 rated fodder, stick it in the club, right? If you're doing this too, make sure to try to get one of the Kemp style, might end up selling for a little bit more later on. But that's kind of the stuff I'd look out for with the stuff that got price range updates yesterday is big, big, big sell-offs as people try to just finally sell the card as they were not able to sell it before. Uh, and then maybe a bit of a bounce back if the card is meta. Perisic is another one that's kind of interesting. He was stuck at like 55K. He was all the way down in the low 40s. He still is, right? 44,000 coins. Scored a goal yesterday. Uh, Croatia is still in the tournament, of course. Um, and, you know, that card's still pretty hype for a lot of people with the links that he has and all the different alternate positions that he has as well. So just kind of watch out for that side of the market. Those cards that got price range updates that now allow them to go lower. We already talked about the higher range guys like Griezmann, Vinny. Um, Bruno Guimaraes actually got a price range update as well uh, from 650 to 700, which is very interesting as Brazil look like they have an easier road to the final now uh, with their matchup in the quarterfinals. So, um, or headed to the quarterfinals. So, yeah, very interesting to see these cards continue to rise up. I think the path to glories that are still live, if you guys are still holding these and you want to risk it a bit longer, uh, I think that with the upgrades today, that's going to bring some more hype to these. Bernardo Silva is like 940K. It's crazy, man. This card is not a 900,000 coin card, but when you factor in the aspect that it's still live, yes, I completely understand why these cards are very, very expensive and how the content's been a bit lackluster, but don't be afraid to take the coins. If you don't want to risk it anymore with the promo coming this weekend, don't be afraid to take the coins on some of those cards that are just up astronomical amounts. So trading on the market in the next day or two, um, I would try to stay, you know, as if you're not invested, if you're trying for some quick flips, I would try to stick with the more rare stuff. I think the World Cup Stories cards are really good to trade with, like the Rashford I got yesterday on bid, out of packs, promo cards, and we always talk about this, but in a down market, kind of like we're, or not a down market, but in more of like a dead market that we are in right now. If you put in the work and learn card prices, you can absolutely flip these guys, right? Um, if you're on a higher budget, you know, watch a guy like this. This I'm pretty sure Teo Hernandez was like 160K yesterday at one point. And right now he's 185. Uh, I mean, he was 160K just a couple hours ago, right? 168, went back up to 179. So, you know, that type of fluctuation trading on the daily is stuff that you can do a lot right now 
with plenty of these out of position cards, rule breakers, even though they're from older promos, road to the knockouts. Yesterday, we watched Messi go from 1.2 lows up to 1.3. Um, low, so like a 100k swing there. You, you had profit opportunities there. That's where I'd be trading right now on the market with heroes and that sort of stuff, just to keep your coins a bit safe, but still trying to make some coins at the same time. Let's talk about Wednesday content today um, as well. We might be getting another showdown, and you're like, Nate, there's another leak, right? We have to look at this other leak. And yes, there is another leak that we have not looked at yet, and it is for a showdown SBC that might be today, but also might be. Not until tomorrow on Thursday, we do have an England versus France showdown. But as I responded to this tweet, and you can see EA released a dope showdown challenge, Impossible. The showdown we had yesterday between Acuna and, and Depay is probably one of the better ones we've had so far in terms of both cards being semi-usable with solid upgrades. This one for me, unless it's really cheap, this Taram card is basically just another Giroud type player in FIFA, right? Kind of the same exact card maybe a little bit faster in terms of pace. Um, these are predicted stats, by the way, not guaranteed. And then Luke Shaw, 82 pace as a left back, even if he gets that much, you know, with an upgrade, what does he go to 84 if they win the game and pull off the upset, right? Not expected to happen. I think it's just a bit unfortunate with the players that EA have been choosing here, unless they juice the stats out really, really nice. I think this one's kind of disappointing to me. But as Foot Sheriff did say in another tweet yesterday, he said, it looks like we are getting... Um, I'm pretty sure he said it over here. He, he said we are going to be getting showdowns for just about every single match from here on out, which is a big time W. Watch out for that. And then also, SBC fodder. You know, I thought that some of the fodder might rise up a bit yesterday, but it, it honestly did not. I think that the hype for the icon upgrade and uh, we didn't really have any tradable pack supply. We had that um, Poland SBC, which, by the way, check your club for Poland players, Polish players, whether they are gold, whether they are silver. A lot of those are selling on the market right now, so make sure you check your club for those. Those are up in price a lot after we got that SBC yesterday. But fodder prices just kind of continue to stay stagnant. Some of them are just dropping a little bit. Um, it's not that we have tradable supply. It's more so the fact, I think, that people are still trying to sell their investments from earlier on in the week. And the hype for that icon upgrade is maybe dwindling just a little bit as people already had a lot of the fodder to get the... Uh, that SBC done and there hasn't been any other like really really good SBCs since then I know it's only been two uh, a day a day and a half today will be two days but that's kind of what I'm thinking for the fodder market watch fodder today on Wednesday we talked about this yesterday too watch SBC fodder especially like maybe like the the 91s I really like watching the 91s they fluctuate a lot in price right Benzema was 62k at his peak I believe when the icon SBC came out, if Benzema and these 91s go back down to like 55k tonight uh, before rivals rewards, that will be a big buy opportunity for me. If these guys keep dropping, if fodder drops today, if EA drops some sort of tradable pack supply SBC, absolutely watch fodder for a potential rise tomorrow on Thursday with the icon pack refreshing. So that'd be something to keep in mind specifically about what is upcoming in the next couple of days but really what today's video is more uh more is about is heads up this promo is coming get your swaps done if you need to for an 84 times 20 and uh just kind of prepare accordingly and be ready for some more leaks and be ready to maybe have a pretty hype promo that could bring some hype back to the menus just because it's something different something fresh and hopefully we get good SBC and objective content alongside of the cards and packs. So that's going to be the video for me today. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.